Hi, this is Amit Kirti here. In this video, I would continue my discussion on Go programming language. We will look at the if statement in Go programming language. So we will have a brief introduction and then we will run some code for if statement using the Go compiler. We will also compile some programs using if statement and then we will also compare the traditional C or C++ language implementation of the if statement. So let's start with our usual lines of code. We will give the package name as main as required by the compiler. We will import FMT. Then I write the function main. So, so let's write an if statement. Uh, suppose I have a variable, say x equal to 5. And you don't need to end it with a semicolon. So I add a if statement so if x modulus of 2 is equal to 0 I say fmt dot print ln x is an even number So again, you don't need a semicolon and I'll close the braces. So let me actually write an even number. So this actually checks whether the number is even or not. So there is an error in this code. So we, when we run, we will have a look at it. So what it says is missing condition in the if statement. So we will just bring it up and run. So what you see is just like main, the opening brace has to come along with the if statement or it will give you an error saying uh, it cannot compile. So, so this was the first thing always the opening brace has to come on the, on the new line on the line where if is written. One more thing is this opening and closing brace is optional. So you can remove the opening and closing brace and you run it, it will still compile. So this is not required for Go programming language to have opening and closing braces. <clears throat> now uh, in C, one way of writing an if statement uh, is that you if there is only one line of code you don't need to write the opening and closing curly braces as well so so in c this is a perfectly valid statement because you just have one line of code but if you run this in go it will give you an error saying unexpected semicolon or new line before opening brace so the opening and closing curly brackets are a must Right. And one more interesting feature of, um, so I can remove this as well since it is not required. One more interesting feature of if statement in Go programming language is that you can assign variables along with if statement itself. So for example, I can assign the value for x on the same line and add the comparison. So I'll remove this line of code. And you will see that I have assigned x equal to 6 and I am using the x value here. So when I do this, 
Uh, let's let, let me give a nice number say 22 and when I run it says 22 is an even number so variables can be assigned values on the same line of if which is new so but you will need a semicolon here so so as to distinguish these two lines of statement so an assignment and the conditional check can come on the same line of code and one more uh, thing is can I do something like this? Is this valid? So let's let's give a number x since it is using it uh, or probably I can make this as hello world so this basically doesn't work right all right so this was a simple uh, introduction to if statement in go programming language uh, thanks for watching the video